Hi Dresser, Katie Swainy here. Today we're going to draw Luffy from One Piece. So let's get started. To draw cool Luffy, let's first start by drawing his eyes. So I'm going to come right here and pretend I'm drawing an oval, but I'm not going to connect it. So I'm just going to come right here with a curve and come right across. And then I'm going to skip a little bit space and draw the same thing at the bottom. So it's just like I said, like an oval, but we're not going to connect. So just leave a little bit of space in between. Then from there, we're going to come into the center area and we're just going to draw a circle. And I'm just going to give mine a highlight right here and shade everything else in. We'll see how it looks. If it doesn't look right with the highlight, I'll take it out. And so let's do the same thing right across. So I'm just going to give myself a little bit of space. So say about right here. And let's draw the same thing. So a curve that comes across, like you're drawing an oval. Skip a little bit of space, and same thing at the bottom. And once again, come inside and draw a circle. There. So that's pretty much it for the eyes. And then we're going to come, let's see here come to the top and we're going to draw the brow. So it's just a line that angles up. And same thing on the other side but right here. And there is actually a little nose that we're going to draw. So in between the eyes, we're going to come down, slight curve, and then bring it in. And then a little point right there. Very subtle. And then of course, uh, Luffy's big smile. So let's come about right here underneath the eye and we're just going to come to about right here. So just right across, just easier for me to see where I'm going. And I'm going to bring this big curve back to my point. Then cap it off there. So we have that in. Now let's go ahead. We're going to frame his face. So let's come back to where we started with the eye. So about right here. And same thing on the other side. Really close to it. And we're going to come down to the center. So let's say about right here. I'll give myself a point. From there, I'm going to go ahead and draw basically the bottom of a U. But I'm going to make it a little bit sharper. So I just draw a curve. Another curve, like jawline. And then I'm going to bring it right to here. So I'm going to angle it in towards this point. And then same thing here. Little jawline and then bring it in. There. So it's a little bit sharper towards the center. There. Okay, so then now that I have that, let's bring this up a tiny bit more. And same thing here. Just bring it up a little bit more. And then we're going to, let's draw his ears first. Come back to where his eyes are and about in this area. I'm just going to draw a curve and then some details inside. Same thing on the other side, about right here where his eyes are. And details inside. Now for his hair. So he has all these strands on top of his, um, on his forehead. So let's see about right here. I'm just going to start, come down, we'll go up and I'll bring some strands down towards the center. And we're just going to zigzag towards his brow and then down. And we just want to cover this area. So bring it in, up, and just finish it off. There, just so something like that. And then we're going to very close to it. So I'll just say about right here in the center. I'll just give myself a point because now I'm going to have to draw a curve around. So I'll just start by right here. It's easier for my hand. I'm just gonna go ahead and draw a curve right over. So I've created this curve. And then I'm going to bring it down towards the sides, towards his ear, and I'm going to zigzag a few strands for his hair. And one more and tuck it in. So same thing over here, just I'm gonna draw one strand 
out and then tuck it in. Now we're going to have to draw his hat. So let's come back again towards the center and about right here. I'll just give myself a point. Just give yourself enough room for the rim and we're going to draw the hat. So I'm going to bring it back to here and here. So I'm just going to draw this big oval shape and as I draw this I'm going to wobble a little bit because it is a straw hat. So I'm just going to bring this in. So about right here is where I'm going to pop it out a little bit more and bring it right back to this area. So same thing over here. So this part pops out a little bit more and definitely come into just whatever you need. So about right here and come back in. There, we've created this rim for a hat and then we're gonna come back to draw the ribbon part. So let's come back to here. We wanna make sure it's about the same width as his face. And I'm just gonna draw a curve and in. And then we're gonna come out a little bit same thing on this side and we're going to go a little bit angular and then round it off this big dome for his hat the top of his hat and connect there finally done just round this off a little bit more now that i'm looking at it but that is pretty much it and you can come in here if you like just do this very softly with some lines to give our hat some texture. Just here and there if you like. Okay, and then, oh, one last thing. We have to draw his scar right underneath his eye, right? So we're just gonna come underneath his eye with a curve and two lines. Okay, so now that we're finally done with his face, let's go ahead and we're gonna give him a little neck. So about right here and here, we're going to draw a curve that comes out and comes out. And before I forget, I'm gonna come right back in here and just zigzag a little bit because we do his hair, a little bit part of his hair in the back. Then now that we have that, I'm going to come down with an angle and angle and we're going to come in. So this is the opening for his shirt. So we're just going to create this little shape, this curve right here, and then we're going to angle out. And let's come back to so imagine his shoulders. But before we finish that, I'm just going to bump it a little bit right here and then continue his shoulders down. So same thing here. I'm just adding this little detail, this little bump. But if you're not comfortable doing that, you can just make it smooth. There's just a little crease in his shirt. And okay, so then now that we have that, just imagine his armpit area, but right here and here. So I'll give myself two points. And from there, I'm going to draw a slight angle line out. So now that we know we're working with this area right here, we're going to bring this down. And not too far, let's say about right here. I'll stop. And this is the part that gets a little bit complicated because he has these ruffles. So let's stop right here now that I have this space. I'm going to wobble two curves out. So same thing on the other side. I'm just going to create this like a little S right here. And this is where um, I'm going to come back in here and draw a line right there to connect. And this is uh, in this area is where I'm going to draw his waist. So let's come back right here. We need to get this part in so we know where to start his legs. So this is like that cloth belt he has. And then about right here, I'm going to wobble up. 
and the reason I have to wobble up is because there's this part that ties that wraps around for the belt <sighs> complicated huh so hopefully <laughs> we're still you're still with me here so um, I know this belt is pretty thick so I'm gonna bring this down wobble some more down and I'm gonna connect this part and this part and then about right here so once we get this line in it'll make more sense but um, oh wait no nothing here this is still his shirt even I'm getting confused right okay so now we have this line in. we know this is his belt so now that we know his belt let's come right back to the center say about right here in the center I'm just gonna draw a slight angle line and we're going to draw two angle lines out for his legs from there and it's going to get a little bit easier so let's wobble this out a little bit more again and imagine his hips we're going to come about right here and this side we're not going to see so let's work on this side first so about right here we'll stop and then i'm just going to zigzag wobble my way across to create this no furry cuff on his sh um, pants. So, same thing here. And let's bring this down. And we're gonna continue this so that this can come through. Wobble across and just imagine this other side. So we just want the same thickness as that, but right here. And draw the cuff. There. Okay, so now that we have that, let's continue this down. We're still coming down, and this same thing over here. Getting thinner towards the bottom. And let's work on this side. I'm just gonna draw a heel and bring this out. Curve. Flatten it out and bring it in. So same thing over here. Curve for the heel. Bring this out. And connect. And so it's pretty flat right here because we're going to give him some slippers. So I'm going to come right here and draw a sole and then in this area, I'm draw a curve, and a curve, and then another curve, and lightly connect that part and draw two little curves right there. So it looks like his bare feet. So same thing here. Curve, curve, another strap right here, lightly connected, and two small curves. There. So hopefully, and I'll just come in here and thicken these straps. You can pop it out a little bit as well. There, so now it looks like straps. Okay, so finally, um, let's finish this outfit right here, this top that he has. And the reason I brought it out to here is because I need to connect this, so. Bring this out. So we're just curving out as we go and then whatever space right here, we're just gonna connect in. So same thing here. So as we're coming out, so that we can go ahead and connect and bring it in. And let's see, for some, then let's draw his arms. So let's bring this down. We want his hands to be about right here. So I'm gonna bring this down with a curve. And this is going to flare out a little bit. And we're just going to connect with a bunch of curves. And then his hand's going to come down. So let's bring this down to about right here. And I'm going to pop this out two curves. So I want his hands kind of like in the fist. Angle and connect. And put a little line right there. there. So 
details, a little crease. So same thing over here. Curve. Drag a point across. Flare it out. And connect. And once again, his hand. So come down to about right here. Two wobbles. And connect in a little line right there. There. Okay, finally. And then let's see here. Here's some details. We're going to let's work on the pants first. So I'm just going to put in two slight lines, angle lines right here. Something for his pants. Some crease lines. Um, some creases on this. belt part and here as well and then of course he has this mark on his chest so it's basically an X so I'm going to come right to the center Give myself two dots and I go up two angles whatever space I have To create this X there and then we can come in here with some details like where his collarbone would be just draw two little lines center line very lightly and almost forgot let's draw another line here for his top now what else are we missing here that is pretty much it hopefully i know it's really complicated in this area right here especially if um, since i couldn't erase i had to work around it but if you're using a pencil um, definitely just draw in this angle shape right here and then put in the belt and then overlap it with these ruffles it makes it a little bit easier but hopefully i've helped you out today to draw um, luffy here from one piece and if i helped you and made it fun and easy please make sure to give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss any new draw so cute videos see you later